Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landers. Huge weather changes and big concerns about them as well. A big freeze with sleet knocking on the door and the expected travel issues already being addressed. We'll tell you about the delayed starts and closures we're already starting to get from schools and businesses here in East Texas. Local authorities on alert for an Anderson County man considered to be armed and extremely dangerous who may be in the Tyler area. Troy Mason is accused of sexually assaulting a child under 14 multiple times and possessing child pornography. They're looking for a white 2010 Ford F-25 truck and we have his picture and more details on our website, cbs19.tv. Testimony in the sentencing phase of Brad Dunn's trial resumes tomorrow morning with another witness for the defense. Today, Dunn took the stand to talk about the night he killed his wife in a Marshall hotel room. He says Carrie Dunn talked about a relationship with another man and he snapped, attacking and then killing her. He told jurors that he didn't mean to do it. CBS 19 covering the trial and we'll have a full report. And the four-year-old terminal cancer patient from Houston, whose last wish is to dance with Taylor Swift, got a chance to talk to her via FaceTime. Swift is on tour, heard about the child's wish, and wanted to connect with her. We'll have the heartwarming story tonight. We'll have all of that for you, plus sports tonight on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. Visit CBS19.TV anytime for the very latest online.